This time on Early Years in Action, we're focusing on ICT. At Grove House Children's Centre in the heart of Southall, where 96% of children have English as an additional language, staff, teachers and nursery nurses are committed to using ICT in a dynamic way to raise standards of achievement for young children. Delivering ICT training and supporting staff development across settings in the London Borough of Ealing is Sally Dennis. ICT really stands for Information and Communication Technology, which can encompass a whole number of things. And I think people are easily trapped into thinking it's just computers, but actually it can be the use of all kinds of things, including non-computer based tools like tape players, microwaves, all sorts of things. In this programme, we're going to see how ICT is embedded in a range of foundation stage learning experiences, from the humble microwave to a state-of-the-art interactive whiteboard. Rambeer Jaswal introduces the basic functions of everyday technology to a group of three and four year olds cooking jacket potatoes, while a parent records the activity on a digital camera. Okay. We'll wait for all our friends to finish, then, we can be, then we're ready to put our potatoes where? Where are we going to put them? In the oven, in the microwave oven. Okay, so Today we made Jackie potatoes and we introduced the microwave to them. They see the microwave at home all the time, so this was a good opportunity for them to know um, what the microwave can do. Does anybody know what this number is up here? One. Ten. Ten. Who said that? Jaya. Jaya. Well done. What about this number here? One. One. Well done. So Ibrahim, your turn first. Press this button. Now, what number does it say here? One. one. Well done. So you have put the potatoes for one minute. Now Liam's turn. And press the microwave. Press the button where it says one. Yeah, no, what's happened? What number is here? S zero zero. Two zero zero. That means two minutes. Thank you, Liam. And now Ibrahim, and you press this button. And now see what's happening. What's happening? The potatoes are spinning. The potatoes are spinning around and around. That is making the potatoes cook. Okay. Now, while the potato is cooking, Jaya, we're going to sing our potato song. Can you remember how to turn the tape recorder on? Can anybody remember? I'm going to press the red button to record and the play button. This is the white button. Press them both together. Then we sing through, what's this called? Microwave. This is the microwave. Microphone. Microphone. We're going to use the microphone and we need to hold it here. Ikra is going to press the record and the play button. Well done. And the tape is ready. After three. One, two, three. Cook a potato. No. Throw it on the plate. The children were introduced to the buttons to put on and off and record and play, rewind. All of these new words were introduced as well. Some children would not have had that prior to using the, this equipment. Let's listen to that now. That was fantastic. But do you know what? Something has happened. While we were singing, the microwave has stopped. I can smell something. It smells very hot. Very, very hot. And what we're going to do now is have a look at some photos that Tahira... Who's Tahira? Do you know who Tahira is? Uma's no. mum. Uma's mum. Tahira is going to download the photographs from the camera and we're going to look at them on the laptop. Okay. In the cooking activity, we had a parent who was able to capture the interactions between the children and to capture that sequence of learning so they can actually talk through those experiences. I'm trying to look for Jaya. Is she there? Shall we see? Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Can you remember? What was this machine in the middle? Can you remember? The singing. The singing, the tape recorder. Yeah, that was really good. I think we could do that again another day.
Where do we find you for you, Kelly? I think adults tend to be more phobic of using computers than children and by giving staff skills and the simple skills that we've given them that they can grow confident in, that, that's motivated them and it's also caused them to become more creative. So it's changed both the practice and the provision. We'll get the magic cloth so we don't hurt our eyes. There we go. What's happening on the monitor, Devon? Nothing. Nothing yet. And this blue lineup. It's going to make it blue. My approach to ICT is to use it as a tool to extend the learning that is already taking place. So, for example, today I had a child who was constructing with different construction tools to extend his learning. We took it to the computer and he chose to scan it in to create a data image. Now, what would you like to do with your picture now, Devon? Would you like to save it or print it? Print, print it, okay. So to print your picture, we go up to File. File. And then to Print, the one starting with P for Print, that's it. Coming out slowly. What can you see, Devon? Nothing. Nothing? I can see your snake looking at me. ICT can be used to link the learning that's taking place. So for example, children might be reading a story together and then they return to that regularly over the week. And that learning can then be linked across to another experience by simply using the webcam. So we're putting our web camera here so that we can make our movie about the three billy goats gruff. Okay, Isha, would you like to come over to the computer? Where you're standing, everybody uh, uh, else, what uh, can you uh, see uh, on the computer? I want right, our here, bridge. You your bridge, you can see your bridge on the okay, screen. Now, let's see how we can record our movie. See the word up here? It says V for video capture. Can you use your mouse to click on V for video capture? So you can record your movie. That's it, and then when you've finished, this word says stop. So you can click on that when we're finished. Would you like to help us tell the story now, Isha? Okay. Now, everybody, which better go gruff? Cross the bridge first. The little. The little. Who's got the little one today? Leah. Leah. So, Leah, Leah. can you cross the bridge? Trip. Trip. Trap. Through the use of retelling the story and using the props, the children have the chance to become that character and therefore they're using the language that is in the story, so they're recalling the language and they're also using expression with the language. On. On my bread. They also look at the sequences of the sentences and which sentence comes first, which one will come after, how do we know the order of the story. And what did he do next? Um, punch Remember him. what he used? Punched him. He punched him. And what happened to the troll? Hey! Splash! Oh. Into the water. In the blind. Is that the end of the story? <laughs> yes. It is. So we can go and press stop on our movie okay. and see what our movie looks like. <laughs> By recording and then being able to play back instantaneously, they can quickly review on what they were doing. And so not only are they getting exposure to ICT skills, which are all around us. Click on M for menu. But also they're using them in the context of as basic retail to review their learning and the concept of the story. Who can you see coming up to the bridge? Who is first? You're right. I can see the troll going under the bridge. What happened next in your video? Big one. Oh, I see. Good remembering. And you can see your movie here. Press the on button to put it back on again. And who are you going to take a picture of now? What about Kavitha? Or Anmal? Or Vish? Look what Vish is making. I think the role of the adult is crucial and I don't think that that needs to be that technology is always modelled. I think there's room for, you know, opening up a new camera and exploring that together. I don't think that the teacher needs to be the expert beforehand. Whoa, should we show Vish his photo? Show Vish his photo that you took. So the role of the adult's crucial in actually looking and listening to what's going on and what children are capable of. Yay! Look, who's that? Who's that? Jalinda. That's Jalinda. Can you show Jalinda her photo? There are different levels of differentiation in terms of the equipment being used. 
We've uh, purchased a plasma screen that we've positioned at children's height and children's level, obviously because that makes interactivity possible. And something of that size actually allows more children to access the equipment, so children aren't limited by their lack of ability, say, to use the mouse, but can actually use their hand to uh, use some of the functions that are on display. Well, then Rafferia and Rafferia. What else can you find? Let's see if you can dig really deep. Underneath. What did you find? Wow, look at that. One, two, one. Put me in your tray then, Dylan. Wow. Can you see anything? Oh, wow. Let's see if we can collect some of these. Look. Well, let's put them in here. See, I found a bit. What did you find? What are these, Lord Devon? The activity that we were doing today allows the children to go outside and explore find? and find objects that they would like to look closer at under the microscope. The slide underneath. Push it a little bit further. That's okay. What can you see? Oh, wow. Hmm? Oh, your worm. Okay, you can leave it on there, don't worry. There, can you see? It's your finger and the worm. So if you choose one of the insects you'd like to take a video of, Devin. Wobbly buggy. Oh, the wibbly wobbly one. Oh, close it, close it quick. Where they come out? Okay, so you have to bring it under the light. There, can you see it? I can see it. Right, so we... Come here first and let's see if we can focus it and make it clearer. You can explore by pressing on the video. You've got to remember. Now, can you see the numbers are moving? That means video has been taken of your insect. They would learn the technology of how to record a video of it. And then from there, they would learn how to save their videos and pictures so that they can look at what they've recorded previously. You can take a photo of what you put on there. So if you click on the camera, do you want to go and click on the camera? Mm. Click on the camera and that will take a photo of your lovely stone. Like, right, now you've got to wait for the time to finish. It's important when we're looking at programs particularly to think about whether they're actually open-ended experiences for children. And what I mean by that is does it give children an opportunity to explore, to link together ideas to actually create something. But the technology isn't leading the learning. The technology is just actually enhancing the learning that's taking place. Remember to be nice to the insects. We'll be very sad if we hurt it. Prior to coming to the centre, I would have never embarked on using all of this technology. For me and the children, it's opened another door. You know, it's not as frightening as you think it is because once you're given that training, then you just want to go forward. I think it's best practice to follow the children's learning and if we can extend that by using different ICT tools, which is, that's a fantastic way of using it. The reality is that ICT has a part to play in learning and it includes play itself. It's not separate from learning through play. And so good practice in early years includes learning, is all about learning through play. And ICT actually helps to facilitate that.